what's going on guys Joe from JPRC and today we're gonna be unboxing some very cool piggyback shocks from a company called RC Run. You may not have heard about them before but what they make these piggyback shocks are absolutely amazing. The reason why I picked these up is because I wanted to take my Axel Bomber to the next level in scale look and performance. Now what I have in my hand here are uh, two sets of these shocks. I have picked them up in 106 millimeters and also the second box right there is in 123 millimeters. The front of the Axel Bomber actually takes the 106 millimeters and in the back in the second uh, shock position it takes the 125 millimeter shock. So these are not exactly the same length but they'll be a little bit shorter but I think you know once you got it installed in there a two millimeter of distance won't make a lot of difference. Now as you also have may seen in my last running video with the hot raising picky back shocks, they work really well in that. The only problem I have with that is they don't come out of the box looking like king shocks. And the second to that, they're actually a little bit leaky, so it, it's not able to provide the consistent damping that I was looking for. Although they actually work really well in the last video. And if you haven't checked it out, you know, go ahead and click the link below and check it out. Now before we look inside the box, let's talk about what's outside. Now these boxes here, they come shrink wrap individually. As you can see here, these are very nice looking tint boxes, high quality. And also it has a shock assembly kit. Now this is something I have never seen any manufacturer that ship with their shocks. What I have here is a bag of parts. Actually not parts, what I see here is a oil dispense tube for you to you know not make a mess when you're like dripping oil inside the shock body in the reservoir. And also it has a metal tweezer here for you to handle the tiny little parts during the assembly process. And they also give you a bunch of color matching zip tie for matching the shock body color. You don't have to buy extra zip ties on your own. And finally it has this uh, disposable gloves in there for those of you who has you know delicate hands but don't want to get your hands dirty. Um, in my opinion, if, I, if you're going to be in this hobby, you do want to get your hands dirty and have the fun in that way. All right, now let's dig into the box and see what's in there. Now inside we have the padding. We're gonna move, put that away. And then right away you got some RC Run off-road peaky back shock sticker there. You get four of them for each corner. Now the shock uh, reservoir already have stickers. So these are gonna be the extras. And then here's we have a bag of parts in here. Now you can see there's a lot of O-rings. This little red O-ring is the shock cap O-ring. It's a spare part for you to uh, replace if you lose one or break one. And then these bigger O-rings are piston ring O-rings. That's gonna go inside the piston, inside the reservoir. They do require installation, but they give you more than enough for you to do it. And then these smaller blue O-rings are optional O-rings for the main shock shaft because the one that comes on the inside are heavier or thicker in, in other words. So if you wanted to make it less stickier, you should use these little blue O-rings. But I think that's what I'm gonna try them out first. And then you also get a bunch of spacers. These are metal spacers and that is for you to fit the shock mounting position onto different models. And finally you have in this small bag is a uh, piston installation screws because when the piston is inside a shock reservoir, you have to use this screw right here to throw it into the bottom of the piston to pull it out and put it back in. It also comes with the uh, fuel tubing. Here you get two options. You get a little bit longer one and these are the blue in, in blue color and these are more flexible for you to use them with a lighter fluid. Now one thing to keep in mind is if you're cutting these to match on your shock before installation, I would caution you on that because you do want to get your shock fully assembled without the oil and then make sure that you got the right fitment before you actually cut the tube, you know, ensure to install the, uh, the reservoir. And then this clear tube here is thicker material so it is perfect if you're using a heavier weight oil for these applications. And they do recommend that you use uh, either 10 or 30 weight oil for in general crawling application. And finally inside the box we have every single piece of the shark individually string wrapped beautifully placed into the molded form in the packaging here. Let's take a look at one of the shocks here right. Off the camera I took one of the longer shocks out, unwrapped it. And here I have it here is the main shock body here and then we have the reservoir on the right. Now with that aside, let's take a look at the shock itself. It features you dual know. rate spring with the threaded shock body for adjusting the right height. The top spring is a lower spring rate and while the bottom spring is a higher rate so that you adapt to lighter bumps using the top spring while the, the bottom spring will providing uh, the main strength. 
And then from top to bottom, it's got metal end caps that will speak for durability because these metal ball ends will actually last a lot better than plastic ball ends. Now, because this shock is all metal construction, you do have to take it apart and apply tread locks where applicable. For example, on the top valve here for the oil in and out shock, you do have to unscrew it out and then put awesome. tread lock to make sure that you get a perfect seal. And then in the bottom amp cap, you get a bump stop like all shocks. Everything is nicely anodized in these king shark blue aluminum here beautiful piece of shark here now like i said earlier inside a bottom cap there's two double o-rings in there already and those are the thicker one if you want to make it less sticky you should use the optional blue o-rings that comes inside the packaging and lastly i'm going to wrap up the video by showing you the construction and features of the little shark reservoir here now as you can see it's got a little thumb screw at the end that you can screw in and out to address the piston pressure inside now the extra lock nut here is for you to secure the thumb screw once you got your right settings in and i'm going to be using the uh the, the box top as a working tray just to, to keep all my parts organized and then i'm going to unscrew the valve for the reservoir here so everything comes apart and again these metal construction here make sure you use tread lock to keep them sealed once you get it fully assembled and then i'm going to be using this tweezer to uh, remove the bottom end cap for the uh, shark reservoir here now construction wise this is a little bit different from the hot racing uh, reservoir because the feature wise a little bit different but overall it's very similar and it will be following the same process to fill the oil in there and i'll show you another video so let's take the bottom spring retention out here you got the end cap for the spring retention along with the spring on there and finally, we have these uh, the shock cap piston here. As, as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't have the O-ring installed yet. And you do have to install the bigger O-rings onto the piston here. And there you have it. This is everything that comes with inside the box fully disassembled. And um, in general, these shocks will work great for your 110 scale crawler vehicles such as the SCX-10, the Axial Rave, and then the RR-10 Bomber. I'm sure that it will fit, you know, any other uh, 110 scale crawler too, you know, of your choice. And I will put the links in the description box below where you can order these shocks. You can order, actually order them in mix and match configuration. For example, if you want to get like just two of the shorter one and then two of the longer one, you just let them know there are links in there that you can order in a mix, uh, mix and match configuration. Any more detail, you can definitely, you know, click on the link and contact the seller on AliExpress and uh, find out more from there. And finally, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, as always, thumbs up and subscribe. And I cannot wait to try these out. I will see you guys in the next video.